everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i'm going to be trying the not polished press it nail kit and i actually have tried this same exact kit in the past and i didn't notice recently not polished sent me some more of their press it nail tips and they sent me the same shape as they already did but i didn't even know it so i did film this entire video and then when i was going back and editing it and just looking at my other videos and looking at overlooking my channel I did realize that I did use this same kit in the past but we're just gonna try it again I didn't want all of this footage to go to waste and basically all I thought is I was trying a different nail shape since I have already tried the not polished press it nail kit but they did send up they did end up sending me the long square like I've already done in the past. So please forgive me. I just didn't want all of this footage to go to waste, especially because I did really like how these, this nail set turned out. I will be linking the first one up in the cards. You can definitely go check that video out as well. I did do a Barbie nail set for those nails, so it was a... A while ago. I mean, Barbie is still kind of trending, but more when the Barbie movie came out. That's when I did that those nails and used this same kit. But like I said, I didn't want this footage to go to waste, so I still wanted to proceed through, um, do the voiceover, edit the video, and still upload it for you guys. But I did really like this kit. You can see I just showed the flash cure lamp. The flash cure lamp is something I don't absolutely love just because it's more of a flashlight and because this kit doesn't include solid glue gel, it is a little bit difficult to cure with that flashlight, but I do make it work and I'll show you further into the video once I actually use that, how I made it work. But here's just a quick overlook at everything included. We have the nail tips, the flashlight, and then we have the press it gel, the primer, the matte top coat, and also a glossy top coat. The press it is what you will use to apply the nail tips. The triple X bond is actually your primer, so you will use this to prime your natural nails and also use it to prime the gel nail tip. And then this kit does include a matte top coat or a gloss and a glossy top coat. So you can decide if you want your nail sets to be matte or glossy. And I do have to say the products from Not Polish are always like professional quality. And I do really love their glossy and their matte top coat. So I think it is nice that this kit does include both of those. And lastly, the kit does include nail tips. You can choose from different lengths and shapes, but they sent over the long square to me. Let's jump in and do some quick nail prep. I'm keeping it very simple here. I'm starting by pushing back my cuticles and scraping up any of my dead cuticle skin. Like I always say, you never want to leave any dead cuticle on your natural nail plate because that is going to cause lifting. After removing my cuticle, which of course you can go in further if necessary, but I don't always feel like I need to, but you can go in with a cuticle drill bit or even a some cuticle nippers. But I removed my cuticle and then I'm just taking a buffer to remove the shine from my natural nails. I also am taking a dust brush just to remove all of the remaining dust. This kit does not include a nail dehydrator, so I just used a lint-free wipe with some rubbing alcohol. Wiped that, wiped that over the surface to dehydrate my nails. And then now I'm going in with a layer of the Triple X Bond. And this is the primer, so I just went in with one layer of that. After that was completely dried, I'm now going in with the Press It Gel. And I'm using this as my base coat. 
Like I always tend to say, you can use just a regular base coat or you can also use like the Builder Gel product, like the Press It here, which is used to apply the nail tips, but you can also use this as your base coat. Now keep in mind, because it is a thicker consistency, just go in with a very thin layer of this and then I cured for 30 seconds. Now we are ready to size out our nail tips, so of course using the long square even though I've already used these in a past video. I do really love these. Um, in my opinion, they're kind of like a tapered square and I really like that. They also are a really nice length. I love how they are extra long instead of short. So if you like doing gel extensions and you want to do some longer nails since most, most like Gel X dupe kits only include shorter nails, definitely check out Not Polish. These extra long ones here are super nice. Something I do want to mention though, in my box there was supposed to be sizes 0 to 10, but I didn't actually have size 10 instead in that spot was like size 6 or something. I can't remember for sure. I don't know if like their batch kind of got mixed up or something like that, but it didn't bother me because for my pinky I was a size 9, but definitely do keep that in mind and if it happens to you, I'm sure you can reach out to Not Polish and I'm sure they'll make things right if you do get a box that doesn't have a size 10. After I sized out my nail tips, I did notice that they didn't fit me absolutely perfectly. I feel like the cuticle area was a little bit wide and square and I need it to be a little bit more rounder. So I just took a hand file and quickly um, just filed off anything that I needed to to make them fit me a little bit nicer and more perfectly. That way they will fit my natural nail how it needs to be fitted and number one, look a lot better and also it will of course help the nails last a lot longer. So you can see there with the flashlight, I kind of just propped it up on the nail tip box and that made it work. You can also buy a nail stand to hold this type of flashlight as well, which I think is super cool. But I mean, I'm not really complaining too much about it, but it isn't my favorite way of curing nails like this. It would definitely be a lot better if it was a solid glue gel because the nail tip would stay in place by itself. But because the press it is in a bottle and it's more of like a gel base coat consistency, even though I do really love the thickness of this product, it sadly does not stay in place by itself. You do need to hold the nail tip down. So so curing with this flashlight, I found it easiest to prop it up on the nail tip box and kind of just hold my finger over close by it and it does cure just fine like that. So to apply the nail tips, like always, I just take the builder gel, apply that to the nail tip, I kind of just paint it on where I estimate my natural nail to be, and then I add a little bit extra product near the cuticle area. I will then place the nail tip down onto my natural nail starting at the cuticle area, slowly lowering it at a 45 degree angle until all of the gel has reached the free edge of my natural nail. I then keep a constant pressure and do a flash cure. For this little flashlight lamp, I think I probably did about a 15 to 20 second flash cure for each of the nails, repeated the process to all other nails, and then once they were all applied, I did do a full 30 second cure in my larger nail lamp to make sure everything was fully cured. Once I was all finished with curing and the nail tips were applied, I'm now just going in with a little bit of shaping. I like to start off with a hand file and crisp up that free edge. I will also take a 5-in-1 drill bit and go around the cuticle area to remove any spillage and seal in the cuticle. And then I will take a buffer to remove the shine from the nail tips.
After buffing and filing, I'm now just taking a dust brush to remove all of the nail dust. And before we jump into actually doing the nail design, I wanted to share this PR package with you guys. So Not Polish did just recently launch their new Disco Toppers, eight brand new shades that are vibrant and sparkly, and they are also reflective glitters. So these are just sprinkle on glitters. They are a raw glitter. They are super bright, neon, and they are reflective. I love these so, so much. There are eight new colors. Like I mentioned, these are just raw glitters. They're not like dip or acrylic powders, so you can just use these to sprinkle over like your gel polish or your top coat. And oh my goodness, are they stunning. I love these colors so much. They did just recently release these and I would 100% recommend getting your hands on these glitters. I'm not quite sure if you can only purchase them as a collection or if you can purchase them individually, but I'm sure that you can either get the collection or individually. So of course, I'll be linking them down below in the description box if you guys do want to get your hands on these glitters. They are absolutely stunning. I think the colors are also absolutely going to be perfect for fall and Halloween, even though they are more on the brighter side. The orange in here just it screams pumpkin to me. I used that one today. I also really liked the green and kind of like the um, like plum color here and the like pink shade. I don't know. I thought these glitters were absolutely stunning. Definitely get your hands on them. I think they will be perfect for the upcoming fall and Halloween nail looks. I did forget to mention, but I do have a discount code with Not Polish. You can use my discount code Nailed by Brandy to save some money off your purchase. And of course, that will also be down below in the description box. But these glitters came just in time because I wanted to use the press it kit, but then these glitters arrived too and I was like oh my goodness perfect I was super excited when I got the order notification that not polish was sending me these glitters I was just screaming and super excited because I just saw like how beautiful they were and I was really excited to see them in person and just see how beautiful the reflect on them was and oh my goodness just wait until you see the final result of this nail set. I did kind of want to focus this nail set around those glitters, but I did only use the orange shade because I wanted to do like a fall themed nail set. So starting off on my first three fingers here, I am using this nude color, kind of like a jelly nude. I applied two coats to each of the nails, curing for 30 seconds in between each coat. Now for my pinky and my thumb, I am going to be doing the same exact thing on both of those nails, but for my thumb, I'll be doing it off camera as an Instagram reel. By the way, both of these gel polish colors are from Daily Charm. The orange one is named Pumpkin Pie, and then I forget the nude shade, but just check the description box. It will be linked below. I thought this orange matched perfectly with the orange reflective glitter, and I wanted to do a full glitter nail on the pinky and on my thumb just to really bring out that glitter and just have an entire glitter nail. So I'm taking one coat of this orange gel polish and applying it to the pinky. Before curing the orange gel, I will sprinkle over that orange glitter on top. And then once I have that sprinkled over, I will kind of wipe the sides a little bit just to make sure I don't lose the square nail shape. And then once it is completely covered on the entire nail surface, I will do a full 60 second cure. Keep that in mind, full 60 second cure because you're applying gel polish and then glitter over top. The glitter is kind of going to avoid the gel from being cured. So you just want to make sure that you do a long enough cure just to make sure that the glitter and the gel is completely cured into each other. So I did a 60 second cure, which was fine. And then I took my dust brush here to remove all of the remaining glitter powder on the nail. And ooh, I was so happy with how this nail looked. It was absolutely gorgeous. 
So for the other nails, I will just be doing some designs on them using that same orange gel polish. And for anywhere where I put the orange gel, I will also be sprinkling over that orange glitter. So for my middle finger here, I'm going to be doing a French tip. And using the Not Polish Liner Brush, I just put some of that orange gel out on a palette and then using the liner brush to create my smile line. And then I will fill that in with the regular gel polish brush. I will not cure the gel. I will sprinkle over the glitter first, repeating the same process like how I did with my pinky, except for it's going to be just on the orange French tip part. I will wipe the side so I can keep the nail shape, and then I will do a 60 second cure in the nail lamp. After the French tip was cured, I again went in with that dust brush and removed all of the nail dust. At that point, I did realize that I forgot to apply my top coat first. I wanted the glitter to be a sugared look, so I wasn't going to be encapsulating it. I was just going to keep it sugared like how it is on the pinky, but I did forget to apply my top coat first, so I kind of had to go in and just apply the top coat to the nail bed, the nude part of the nail, which was very complicated to do. Um, I was able to manage. I got it done. No big deal but definitely it would have been a lot easier for me if I would have applied the top coat to the entire nail first, but sometimes when I'm going through with my nail set, it kind of slips my mind and I forget about it. So I did do that for my index finger, and I'm so happy that I didn't mess up with this one first. Well, not really mess up because it was an easy fix, but for the index finger, I'm going to be drawing two lines on the nail, and it would have been a lot harder to apply the top coat to this nail versus the French tip one. So for this one, again, I'm just using that same orange gel polish in the Not Polished Line Art Brush, and I am going to be drawing one line going diagonally across the nail, and then kind of the same exact thing, kind of creating like a plaid print, but not really making it full plaid, just keeping two lines on the nail. So I did that. I didn't cure before curing, I sprinkled over the orange glitter and then I cured for 60 seconds in the nail lamp. After that nail was cured, I again just took that dust brush to remove all of the remaining glitter powder, and I think it is so satisfying to brush it away and then see the design, like only the orange gel covered in the glitter. Super satisfying. I was loving how this set was turning out. I wanted to add a little bit more of like a fall theme to this nail set though. So for my ring finger, I decided to take some fall theme stickers such as leaves, pumpkins, and I think that's really all I added to this nail here, just using some different sticker sheets. So keeping it very simple, just pulling up some different leaves that I want to add and placing them down onto the nail. Very simple and easy process and a lot easier than drawing leaves. And it still just made the nail set look a little bit cleaner, nicer. And I also just loved how it gave it a little bit more of a fall vibe. After I had all of the stickers placed down, I'm now going in with a layer of the Glosset top coat on that nail, and I cured that for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. Mm -hmm. 
one more finishing touch, I wanted to take this gem gel, which is also from Not Polish, and for the center of the French tip, I wanted to add a orange rhinestone. So I placed down a little bit of that gem gel, I placed the rhinestone on top, once I liked the placement, I did cure for 30 seconds. Well, I did a flash cure to hold it in place, and then I did do a full 30 second cure in my larger nail lamp. And now I am finishing off with some cuticle oil. I'm applying that to my cuticles to nourish them, and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. I also do want to say that I did just do the same thing on my thumbnail as my pinky. Like I mentioned, I did that as a Instagram reel, so definitely go follow me over on Instagram at Nail by Brandy. But here is the finished look of these nails, and I love them so much. And I honestly feel like the glitter is the best part of this nail set. Even though the glitter is a little bit messy just because of the reflective glitter pieces in it, I will always reach for this glitter. It is an extremely beautiful glitter, and I love gel polishes that are like holographic, reflective. Those type of gels just I always love them because I love the look out in the sunlight and under low lighting with the phone's flash. I just think it is an absolutely gorgeous touch to any nail look, no matter if you're doing very short or very long nails. So these glitters, I love them. I also love this orange color here. I'm sure I will use it in another like fall or Halloween nail set. I can definitely see this glitter working perfectly for some glittered pumpkins. I think that would look absolutely amazing, but I do really love how this nail set turned out. I think it is on the simple side, but yet screaming fall and the longer length, it just made me so happy to see these nails. It was also really fun doing them because recently I've been doing some shorter nails. But here are the nails in low lighting under flash. Just look at that glitter. Disco, disco, disco. I love it. It really brings the nail set together and I just think it is the perfect orange color for fall. I highly recommend getting your hands on this glitter collection. Also, just look at it in the sunlight as well. Very sparkly, very shiny, and it definitely pulls this nail set together. I really hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. Let me know what other products that you want me to try. I do have a lot of fun trying out some products from Not Polish, especially because it is a newer brand to me, and I do really like their products. Check the description box for anything that I did use in today's video. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.